Hello there everybody, you guys are absolutely going to love this. If you put into YouTube, um, KTVU, Fake Asiana Pilots Names, you will see a major screw-up where someone did a prank on them and they released the pilots' names as Captain Something Wong, We Too Low, Holy Fuck, and Bang Ding Ow. And as you can see, there's no shortage of this. It's absolutely everywhere. As a matter of fact, I hopped that bandwagon and I uploaded it to um, my YouTube, but here's one little problem. You see, let's say hypothetically, um, KTVU wanted to, oh, I don't know, use some fair use clips, <coughs> short fair use clips, for the Zimmerman case, and state their opinions in regards to that case, as per their First Amendment right, well, Zimmerman probably wouldn't like it too much, but they could do it. And I guess if um, Zimmerman really wants the media to leave him alone, he could always just change his name to Benghazi. <laughs> you know, that way the mainstream media and um, the Obama administration would never want to talk to talk about him again. But be that as it may. Um, let's say, that, you know, KTV wanted to do that and have that in a broadcast and put their section of it on, on YouTube and all that. Well, they would think that that would be all fine and fair because it's just a part of journalism, right? Well, unfortunately, they don't think the, the fairness uh, goes both ways or at the very least um, it appears as if they do not think so. Because what ended up happening to me, when I used the nice little clip, and I do believe my version of it was something like 37 seconds or something like that. Now let's go in and view the larger view on this. Oh, looky. I got a freaking copyright strike. Yeah, 37 seconds. There we go. And it's because they didn't like my opinion. News media liars are paid to follow orders, not think. Total lack of discernment. Are we shocked? Hells no. San Francisco news station got pranked big time on Friday when they aired the names of what were believed to have been the pilots aboard. Anyway, needless to say, you can see this. You can see that, you know, I'm just doing uh, j opinionated journalism here. Um, you can see that I'm well within uh, fair use and First Amendment and so on and so forth. And as did everybody who com commented on this as well. And so I submitted a counterclaim. And I know for a fact... I definitely know for a fact and that I am going to win this counterclaim. And I will show you why. Okay, if this will let me zoom in and clearly show it to you here. Hopefully I can still read it. My response is that we are compliant with fair use law. Um, it was a short clip. It does not alter the um, market value or do any damages, if anything, it advertises your station giving you more viewers. You are censoring. Copyright law is there to protect market value and revenue. It is not there to thought police 
um, those who have opinions that you don't like. Posting this clip is a First Amendment right and it's fair use. So basically, I made it clear to them that I do understand the law on this. I made this I made this very clear to them so provided uh, they have good lawyers who will look at my response and go yeah well you know he is right under under fair use law there all he did was um, put up a clip it uh, qualifies as journalism um, it doesn't alter the market value of anything there's no damages done um, this person was just stating uh, his opinion about a clip, and um, he has the First Amendment right to do so, and, it, you know, he was totally within uh, fair use. The clip was only 37 seconds, so on and so forth. Um, you know, I really think that I'm, I'm going to win this. I mean, I could be wrong. They could decide to break the law, to violate the law, they could decide to um, perpetuate further this fraudulent um, DMCA claim, which is absolutely fraudulent, a complete violation of fair use rights and of First Amendment rights, among other things. They could, if they wish to, decide to break the law. They could. They might. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. I'll find out in about 10 days or so, give or take. But if they are a station that has any sort of integrity whatsoever, they will see that I am well within fair use law and they'll let it go. Plus, they might want to see that the clip they're trying to take down, it's, it's going viral everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. 312 views, 45 views, 620 views, 400... 59 views, and I mean, and so on and so on. This one has over 4,000 views. Mine had like 25,000 views before it was taken down. This has over 13,000 views. I mean, these guys need to realize that they're not going to stop this clip. This one has over 124,000. They're not going to stop this clip. They're not going to stop people from talking about it. It's going to be posted on YouTube and beyond by... Th tens of thousands if not millions of people and you know no matter what lawyers they have you know no matter how big of a staff they have no matter what that they, they're just spinning their wheels if they think that they can stop people what I would suggest to them they do is just put it in the copyright claim ID system and configure it to leave the video up and to monetize it so that um, KTVU is making money, making income, making revenue um, from these uh, tens of thousands of uploads. I mean, they could pull in some major bank if they decide to see this as an opportunity instead of a burden. But, you know, they're going to do what they're going to do. I can't tell them what to do. You know, they reserve the right to make their own decisions for themselves. But personally, if I was them, I would be loving this and I would be seeing this as a major opportunity to rake in a lot of freaking money. So, I mean, if they want to see this as a burden and spend money and waste time and spin their wheels on trying to get all these videos down from, you know, online, and it's an impossible task, they're never going to do it then, um, you know, they can go ahead and waste that time, waste that effort, waste that money, waste that manpower if they want to. But in my humble opinion, for whatever it's worth, it might behoove them to consider to make millions upon millions of dollars off of these video uploads. Put it in the content ID matching system. And when it finds a match, do not submit a DMCA on it. That's stupid. Instead, monetize it. KTVU, make money on this. Don't be stupid. This is a massive 
revenue income if you allow it to be that for yourselves. This is major dollars that you could pull in if you're smart enough. But if you're not, then hey, that's your problem. That's not our problem. People are going to keep uploading this video while you keep not making money on it. And whose damn fault is that? Hmm? That's, that's all I really got to say on it. So, um, hope you all have a wonderful day. And thank you for watching this little paradigm shift and educational <laughs> commentary. So, um, yeah, that's all. I'm going to end the video now.